back out in the lakes again today. It's been a while since I've done the videos. Um, just not felt like doing them really. Um, we've come up to Blee Town today. I dragged the parents out, got them up at four o'clock for the sunrise. And to be honest, it doesn't look very sunrisey. It is nice though. Got the view up to Langdale Pikes. It's reflecting in Blee Town. It's like really still. There's a few baby grebes. I think there's one there. Um, some ducks and stuff here. I'm going for a pretty um, typical shot. The shot of the Langdales. That's kind of why you come here. I'm not actually the biggest fan of Blee Town. But we're going to go up onto um, Side Pike. This one here. And then make our way across this horizon up onto Lingmar. So we should get some nice views of the Langdales. Um, mm, I'll show you this picture. It's pretty straightforward. And then hopefully, once we get up onto Side Pike, we should get some really nice views down into the valley. And maybe some sun, sunrise colours. I think we've missed it though. I think we saw it on the drive here. But we'll see what happens. Went for a little wander after I last on the video. Um, just came through the gate and dropped down to the side of the water. And I think I actually prefer this view. You don't get a, as good a view of the Langdales, but um, it makes a nice portrait shot with these reeds and the rocks. They're sort of quite nicely spaced apart. I've gone for these ones here. And for a composition like this, it's kind of hard to tell in there a lot of information um, so you got the all the reeds down here the rocks quite nicely spaced out there's quite a nice gap where you can see all the clouds and you got the Langdales and Side Pike which is where we're going next then you get this nice tree here so I think that is actually um, nicer than the ones that we got before the other one was kind of just a, a snapshot so I think I'm tempted to get a closer up shot of the tree and then um, then I think I'm done with this place then then we can carry on and start climbing you get the tree from here from there <laughs> just there no. that's as far hmm? that is nicer and you get that one over there that where mum's look you get that one there look you get all these here look you get a uh, uh, upside down picture here, Ed. Oh, yeah, you can see all the trees, can't you? Yeah, yeah. You see them? You get complete. Stayed here for a few more minutes than I thought we would. Um, got two or three different compositions. I think this last one actually might be my favourite with the um, uh, fence leading into the water. There's quite a lot of midges out though, so it's a bit uncomfortable. So probably won't stay around for too much longer. And then we'll get the views from up there. Yeah, our picture's working. We're about halfway, maybe two thirds away up side pike now. And although we're not at the top, this is actually my favorite part of the view. You get a really nice view of the Langdale Pikes and down into the valley. There's actually quite a lot of people in the campsite. I expected that to be empty with everything that's going on at the moment. We've, um, I haven't been making the videos, but have actually been out a few times lately. We went up, um, uh, what's it called? Red Screes. That was quite nice. Got a few pictures from there. I'll put one to the screen for you. And then um, a week or two back, we went up Cat Bells from the parking scale side. Did that for my mum's birthday. That was quite nice. We went up early like we did today. 
managed to get the top to ourselves because it was my mum's birthday. So we carried a cake up, had that at the top, had that for breakfast. So that was pretty good. As, um, yeah, we got a few pictures there actually. It was quite hazy, but it was nice. Not really sure why I haven't been videoing them. Just not really feeling like it. It's just um, nice to get out sometimes and just disappear into the hills. I'm not sure if you can actually see the view from back there. Um, this is the view we're going for. Langdale Pikes and the campsite is there. I'll show you all the views while we're here. So you've got Pike of Blisco there, Crinkle Crags, you've got Bowfell, well this is the band this bit, then that bit's Bowfell, you've got Rosset Gill, you've got the Langdale Pikes. Done videos on all of these actually. Um, I'll link them down below if you want to see those. This one here, that is Side Pike. Then that one there is Lingmore Fell. Although it's not a sunrise, I do actually like this. I'm not a big fan of sunrises and sunsets to be honest. Not, I don't know, an orange sky over a hill. It's kind of the same wherever you go. I do like the, the light patch in the shadows here though. That's more my scene. But the good thing about coming out far is we haven't seen another person and that's also more my scene. So I think we're going to sit here for a little bit, then we'll go up there, then make a decision on what to do next. Got a few pictures there, quite happy with them actually. Um, a bit different to what I expected, but nice. Um, starting to wake up now as well, so I can probably stink. Well, I was going to say I can string together a sentence, but I had a little stumble there. Um, what were we saying? I was talking about places that we've been during the lockdown. Um, Cat Bells was probably the best. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of cool to have it all to yourself. There's like a few other walkers, but they kind of carried on. And then we were at the top for about 30, 40 minutes. So that was really nice. What else has happened? You have to let me know what you've been doing as well. It'd be interesting to see how everyone's coped with it. Hopefully you've been out with your cameras. Um, be good to see your pictures actually. Um, tend to be on Instagram now. Use the hashtag Adam Kappa and I'll check those out. Other photography things I've been doing is been in the studio a lot lately actually. It's really just trying to, like everyone else, keep the ship afloat, which is a bit of a challenge, but fingers crossed it'll get easier. And yeah, I did have one negative thing, which I was, um, I got contacted. Someone wanted me to give them a print, which isn't how shops work. I've tried to make them as affordable as possible, but I, I can't give prints away to everyone that likes them. It's not a very good um, business model. I thought that was the end of it, but apparently they took that to Twitter and people kicked off about that. So that wasn't that great, especially at the moment. Fortunately, most people pointed out that um, that's not how shops work. So Cheers to the people that stuck up for me. That was, yeah, wasn't really in the mood for that. But I think I've got a feeling we're not going to do Lingmore. I think we're going to get to the top of Side Pike, do um, Fat Man's Agony, and then um, probably call it a day there. But I'll catch up with my parents and see what they think. We've dropped down from the top of Side Pike now. It's it actually got really sunny, quite quite harsh sunlight. Um, we dropped down, we, we met a person at the top and they hadn't been through Fat Man's Agony before, so we offered to show them and I think they quite enjoyed it. And Fat Man's Agony is just this um, squeeze through the rocks here. 
not too bad if you don't have a bag on. I have to sort of shimmy my way through with my camera bag on. But once you get through, I've got my camera set up here because you get a really nice view of uh, Blee Town. This is kind of uh, one of my go-to shots. I quite like this bit because you get the uh, that rock that we just squeezed through. You get the road and you get Blee Town. And it's kind of hard to balance it at the moment. It's quite dark down there, then really bright, then really dark. But I'm really liking this area. So got the camera set up here. We'll get a shot of this with Weatherlim in the background. And I think this will work quite nicely. I was wrong as well, actually. We are going to head up Lingmar, so I don't have high hopes for more pictures, but it's still going to be quite nice views. Made up onto Lingmar Fell now. We're not actually at the top. The top is sort of two or three more mounds away. I don't like the top. It's um, sort of just a mound and I don't really like the views. Um, I prefer the view from this point here and for two reasons. First one isn't that good. Now I'm trying to explain it. It's kind of a muddy little puddle which is a little bit different to everything else we've seen today. Um, it's kind of dark, surrounded by the bright green grass. Then you get the Langdales off in the distance with a bright blue sky. And I quite like that. I've been experimenting with the polarizer on the water. You can either make it like really dark, which I don't think I like. I think I like there to be a little bit of glare in there, but I'm really happy with that one. I think that might be my favorite from the day, but there's also a really nice view. If you come over here, down and then look down over all this heather. And with this one, you get all the heather, the stone walls, you get the view back down onto Side Pike. You can see the bands and Bowfell, you can see the Langdale Pikes. And it just works for me. I just like it. I would prefer it if the light was a bit nicer, but it's about nine o'clock now. So the softer light is kind of gone. I think I'm going to end the video here though. We are going to go up to the top and then drop down through the trees. So there might be a few more pictures. I'll put them on to the end of the video, but hope you liked it. It's been a while. Um, there might be more this week. It might be a few more weeks until the next one. We'll see. But if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.